Yes! Yeah! What a beautiful fish. That is a dandy. Look at that fish. That's a beauty. What's going on everybody? It's Adam Andler. You're watching Adam's Angling Adventures. Today is Friday, March 11th, 2022. And I am back up here on the bay. Beautiful Sturgeon Bay. The sun is just rising in the distance there. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. And I can't wait to chase these whitefish out of this deep water today. I'm actually out here today with Finn Fanatic Charters, out here with Captain Bob. And I just got to my shack and I'm excited to get this party started, baby. Let's go inside, let's take a peek. Look at this beautiful shack. Lots of room in here. Got big old bench style seating in there. Couple of holes. The heater on the wall. Lots of space. Lots of room. I'm super excited to get this video going, you guys. Let's get hooked up. Let's go get them. The first thing you really want to do when you start fishing for these whitefish is trying to figure out what jigging cadence do they want for that day and every day it's a little bit different and you just got to keep experimenting and mixing it up until you find out what triggers them and then stick with that some days they want it real aggressive big rips off the bottom and that jig really slamming back down into the bottom and then other days just ever so slightly just tapping into that bottom nice and easy. And some days it's a mix and you just gotta try different things and figure that out. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, there we go, baby. Hooked up. Ooh, big head shaker, big head shaker. Look at that rod, folks. Holy cow, holy cow. That clobbered it. Oh my God, big head shakes. Big head shakes. Folks. There he is, big whitey. Big whitey, big whitey. Oh yeah, what a start, that's a beauty. Holy cow, what a start. Look at that gorgeous Sturgeon Bay whitey. Look at that gorgeous whitefish. Holy cow, that is a beauty. Absolutely a beautiful whitefish to get this trip started. Dandy of a fish. 20 incher. Listen to him talking to me. Beautiful 20 incher to get this trip started. Once you start catching fish and fish know there's food there, they will keep coming your way and they come around in big schools and once you can start getting a few to bite they all get fired up and that's when it's really fun there he is baby right on cue that's when it's really fun look at that neptune ice rod baby <laughs> let's go baby let's go Boom, I knew I felt him. I had a hit just a few seconds before that. And he came right back and inhaled it. There he is, another whitey. Woohoo! A little bit of a smaller guy compared to that beauty, but look at that. Right in the roof of the mouth on that Dr. Real Good Whitey Whacker. Oh, listen to him, he's chirping for us. <laughs> Look at that, another beautiful Sturgeon Bay whitefish. Nothing crazy. That's a little bit of a smaller guy. 
just under 16, but still a respectable fish, fun to catch. They always are, folks. This is seriously one of my favorite trips every year. I absolutely love coming up here and targeting these whitefish in this deep water. It is so much fun. The first time I ever got to do it was last season, and I went up earlier this season, and I loved it so much I came back up a second time here late in the year, beginning of March. There he is, baby! And this is why I'm back, because it's so much fun. This feels like a little guy's coming up pretty quick. And these fish, even though you're catching them in such deep a water, yeah, this is just a little baby. And see, he actually came on the slider rig. I got a little slider rig hooked up with wax worms, and that's what he hit. This is just a little guy. These fish are absolutely safe to release from this deep water because they are like trout and salmon where they can actually burp their air bladder on the way up. So they are safe to put back and release. And that's exactly what we did with that guy. Right now, I just put my old GoPro down the hole. I got it in a waterproof case and I'm gonna try to get some cool footage of these fish swimming up from the deep. So I got my new GoPro live on me. You'll see the hook set, and then we're gonna take it underwater so you can see that fish fighting and coming up from the deep. It's gonna be awesome, man. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Just gotta get hooked up here and right on cue. Here we go, unbelievable folks. Holy cow, you couldn't have asked for better timing right there, folks. Come on, come on, baby, coming up from the deep. We're gonna see, it's gonna get interesting here when that whitefish is time to come up the hole. It's gonna get interesting, but I really hope that GoPro is picking up this footage. Feels like a good fish, putting up a good tussle. Really good fighter. Come on, baby. Coming up from the deep. Oh, 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 bashes the GoPro. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a giant whitey. Look at that. Oh, baby. Come to Papa. Holy cow! Holy cow, folks! That's an absolute giant! Look at that whitefish! Holy smokes! That is my biggest whitefish ever! <laughs> Look at that giant coming up from the deep! Got it on film! Got it on the underwater camera! This is unbelievable, folks! Look at the gorgeous coloring on this fish. I mean, this fish is just built. Built like a brick house, baby. Look at that. That is a thick fish, heavy fish. Look at that. Wow. Let me measure this pig. Holy cow. 22 and a half. All right, folks. Well, I just want to walk you through exactly what I'm using today. So I'm using a 3 16 ounce Whitey Whacker jig that is made by Dr. Real Good, and that is in the Gobi color. And I am tipping that with a 2 inch Kai Tech Easy Shiner. This happens to be the Silver Flash Minnow color. And anything that really imitates a goby or a shiner will work just fine. And I am just threading that on there, just like that. As you can see, there's some nice gold and black flakes in that plastic to really match 
the jig head. And then I have about a foot off the bottom, a small snap swivel, and a tiny Daiichi gold circle hook. And that's going to be our slider rig. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to load it up with wax worms. That way these fish see two different presentations and two different kinds of baits. So maybe if they're not so hungry to eat the minnow, maybe they just want a little snack, they'll hit the waxies. So I like having that. Two opportunities to catch these fish. And I really load that up with like three waxies. Don't be afraid to load them up on there. And that's it. I got a eight pound fluorocarbon leader and then I have 10 pound Power Pro braid on a Daiwa QG750 reel. And I'm using the 28 inch Neptune ice rod this is the light action. It has a very nice firm backbone but a soft tip. Let's get back down there. Let's go get them baby. We are officially halfway to the limit. We have five of our ten and there is number six baby! And we have the underwater camera working down there. Look at that Neptune ice rod bent over. Feels like a decent fish. I really hope you can see this on that underwater camera. Here he comes. Look at that. Just a smaller guy. Nothing crazy. And he hit those fresh three waxies I just put on. He must have smelled them down there. But like I said before, these fish are just like trout where when they swim up from this deep water, they can burp out their air bladder so these fish are safe to release back down. That's a little smaller guy. We're going to let him go. We're going to let him grow up. There we go, baby! Hooked up! Doesn't feel like a giant. But he's flexing that Neptune ice rod. <laughs> come on, baby, come on. I got the underwater camera on again down there, just trying to get a little different angle for you guys and a little bit of a different view. Yeah, on that whitey whacker. Nothing wrong with that fish right there. That's a good eater. It's a 15, 16 incher. And pretty, oh, well, good afternoon. <laughs> That's a good average size fish, I would say, up here. Today, we've been really lucky and super fortunate to be catching some bigger fish but most of the time when I come up here that's a pretty average size fish. I was just a hair off on that one. He's actually a little bigger than I thought. 17 incher. But a beauty nonetheless. And we'll be adding him to the pile. Look at that. Whitefish beat down today folks. Woohoo! There we go. 
There we go, folks. Tighten that drag a little bit. Here we go. Feels like a pretty good fish, too. Look at that Neptune ice rod just pumping. He's getting close. He's getting close. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty. Oh, wow. That's a beauty. Oh, my God. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Woohoo! Oh, gosh. These fish are so much fun. I don't know. I don't know if there is a funner fish to catch through the ice than whitefish. I mean, they are just absolutely a blast. If you have never done this, you need to get up here. You need to book a trip and catch yourself some Sturgeon Bay Whiteys. This is my favorite trip of the year, every year through the ice. And because these fish are so much fun to catch, I will be back every year just for these guys look at that that's another 20 inch i bet gorgeous fish all right folks let's take a peek how big is it any guesses any guesses Whew. 19 and a half well everybody that's gonna do it for today's episode just another amazing day out here on sturgeon bay caught a bunch of whitefish, got my limit, and caught my biggest one ever, 22 and a half inches, three pounds, six ounces. What a pig. So great to be back up here on the bay. Just want to say thank you to Fin Fanatic Charters and Captain Bob for getting me out here today on late ice. One last trip out here on Sturgeon Bay before the ice is gone, and it was definitely worth it, baby. If you guys ever get a chance, you gotta come up here and try it. It is so much fun. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.